Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you're doing well. As you can see, I have temporarily stepped away from my studio while I enjoy a much needed vacation. During this time, I'll continue to provide content with recorded voiceovers, but don't worry because my absence from the camera will be short and soon I'll return to my regular filming. In the meantime, I'll be offering a few unboxings and today we're gonna to be opening up the curated beatbox for the month of June. As always, I'll leave some information down below in the description section of this video. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. And here we have Creative Beatbox for the month of June. The name of the box is Tree of Life. One of the things I love about Creative Beatbox is that they give you a little preview. And it looks like we have shades of pink and peach and maybe some red. And down here is a list of the contents. And on the right are the codes for each one. So if you wanted to buy additional items from this box, you could go to the dollarbead.com website and use these model numbers. So let's go ahead and open up this box. Let me pull it out. Look at these beautiful vibrant colors. And it looks like we have some gold components. Let me get organized and we'll go through each item. I thought we'd look at the larger beads first. These first two strands are 12 millimeters in size. And the beads on these strands are 10 millimeters in size. And these are definitely summery looking colors. Let's take a look at this one first. These are marble style glass beads and the color is red and yellow. And this strand measures eight inches. And it looks like there are 15 beads on this strand. And what I like to do with 12 millimeter size beads is to use them either in earrings or as a focal on a necklace. Another thing I like to do is to space them out with chain. That seems to lighten up the piece a little bit because they are a little bit on the big side, but that's just me. Everybody has different tastes. In any case, these are really pretty. I love that beautiful marble style glass. Let's take a look at this one now. We've had this kind of bead before, but in different colors and different sizes. The effect on this bead is called a drizzle paint effect. And the description says it's bronze, but to me it looks a little bit on the orangey side. It's a very pretty color though, I really like it. But anyway, this is a six inch strand and it looks like there are 13 beads on this strand. I really like that effect. It's really pretty. Let's take a look at these crackle beads. And I think this is the first time that I've ever seen a frosted crackle bead. The ones I've seen in the past are not frosted and they're usually a little on the clear side, but these are really gorgeous, guys. I love these. Oh my gosh, look at these. They're so pretty. I love that crackle effect behind the frosted glass. And I like this color too. The description says it's brown, but again, to me, it looks more like an orangey color. But anyway, these are 10 millimeters in size and this is a six inch strand. And I'm counting about 17 or 18 beads. Very nice. Let's take a look at these now. These look like crackle beads, but they're not. These beads are called gemstone style glass beads and this color is deep yellow. But if you look closely, they do have like a crackle effect, even though they're not crackle beads. We've had these before in the past in previous boxes, but again, in different sizes and different colors. And this is another six inch strand. Really nice. So far, I'm really loving these colors. Let me get some more beads. And here we have some eight millimeter size beads. These are crackle beads, as you can see. And these are the drizzle glass beads, just like the ones I showed you a few moments ago. What a gorgeous shade of red that is. Let's take a look at it. That is one of the prettiest reds I've ever seen. They remind me of berries. And I don't know if you guys can see the drizzle effect. It's a little difficult to see, but it's on there. It looks like they've drizzled a metallic type of red paint on top of the base red color of the bead. I really love that effect. Like I said, we've had it before many times. And whenever I see these beads, I make a point of using them because they are very beautiful. Let's take a look at these crackle beads. This color is called Summer Glory. And I feel like we've had this color before in previous boxes, but maybe in a different size. But anyway, guys, as you can see, this is your standard crackle bead. The glass is transparent, it's not frosted. But what I like about these beads is the two-tone color effect. It's so beautiful. Some of the bead is pink and some of it is peach. Absolutely gorgeous. And the strand measures 16 inches, so there are quite a few beads there. Certainly enough to make a necklace, a bracelet, and a pair of earrings. Let me get some more beads. 
And here's the next size down. These are six millimeters in size. And it looks like we get some rose quartz gemstone beads. So that's nice. Now, one thing I do want to mention, the description says there's supposed to be eight millimeters in size, but these are six millimeters in size. And that happens from time to time. The label on the box says that bead sizes and types may vary due to availability. I usually point that out, but I forgot to do that this time. So your box may have the eight millimeter size rose quartz beads. And I actually don't mind that mine is six millimeters. I like working with smaller beads. I like the eight millimeter size as well, but I do have a preference for six millimeters for certain applications. Let's take a look at them. This strand measures between seven and eight inches. And the reason they give you a range is because the beads vary in size, as you can see, they're not all uniform. Although I don't see too much variation between one bead and another, they look pretty uniform in size, but they do have different levels of uh, translucency. Some are more opaque than others. That's the nature of gemstones. But anyway, there are enough beads here to make a bracelet. Very nice. Let's take a look at these pink ones. And oh my goodness, this pink is so bright. The color is called bubble gum and these are crackle beads as you can see. I think I would call this color hot pink though because it's very bright. And this strand measures 16 inches. So there are quite a few beads here. And the crackle effect is your traditional crackle effect. It's not frosted as you can see. Very nice. Let's take a look at this one now. This one's very interesting looking. It has a few speckles of that hot pink, as you can see. These are glass beads with a paint spray effect, and the color is orange blossom. How cool are these? So to me, the glass looks like it's orange, and then it has a peach and pink color sprayed on top. Very interesting. We've had these before as well, in different colors. I think these are super cool. I really like that effect. And the pink spray effect matches these beads here. I'm happy that my box has a lot of six millimeter size beads. It's gonna make it real easy for me to design something. Let me bring out some more beads. And here we have some loose beads. These came in two separate bags. We have some more gemstone beads and we have these beautiful faceted glass beads. And I really don't know what kind of gemstone that is. The description doesn't say. If you happen to recognize it, please leave a comment down below and let us know what it is. Let me put them on a rod and we'll take a closer look. Here they are threaded on. I love the different pink tones, it's so pretty. The description says they're a hot pink color, but to me, I'm seeing different colors. I'm seeing plum. I'm seeing peach. Aren't these beautiful though? They're so pretty. They measure 10 millimeters in size. I love all the interesting inclusions that I'm seeing in each bead. These are very, very pretty. And if I use them, I probably use them all in one design, maybe a necklace. Let's take a look at these now. These are so sparkly, look at that. I have four here, but there's actually a total of eight. And these are called faceted bicone beads and the color is peach. They measure 14 by eight millimeters. That sparkle is absolutely mesmerizing. They also have large holes, so you could definitely use them on leather cord. I'm not sure if that's what I'll do, but that's just an idea. But don't you love that sparkle, guys? Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Let me bring out the metals now. And here we have some metal items. We have bead frames. We have this pendant and we have some bead caps. Let's take a look at the bead frames. We get a total of six and here's three of them. These are a lot of fun to use. I've used these before many times. They measure 22 millimeters across and they have like a twisted rope design. I don't know if you guys can see that. Very cool. And they're big enough to accommodate 12 millimeter size beads. Another thing you can do with these is to have smaller beads inside the frame. So for example, you could fit three six millimeter size beads. That would look really cool as well. Let me see if I can thread one on a rod with one of the 10 millimeter size gemstones that I just showed you. I actually had to use two of the bead caps so the bead could fit in there properly, but this works pretty good as well. Like I said, you can use a larger bead or do something like this with bead caps or maybe even spacer beads or even seed beads. I've done that before. But I really like this look. I think it's very, very nice. I'm going to have a lot of fun with these rings. Let's take a look at this pendant now. That's the back. And that's the front. As you can see, it's a tree of life. And it's rather large. It measures 50 by 46 millimeters. It has a loop at the top. But if you wanted to, you could use any of these openings to attach chain or beaded components. More than likely, I'll probably just use it by itself though. I like that it has a nice big loop. I'm gonna have to think about what to do with it, but obviously it's gonna to have to be worked into some kind of necklace. It's very pretty though, isn't it? 
I've seen a lot of Tree of Life pendants and components, but I've never seen one that looks like that. Let's take a look at these bead caps now. Here's eight of them. We get a total of 25, so that's a generous amount. And these measure six millimeters in size, so obviously they're gonna fit the six millimeter size beads well. But as you saw before, you can also use them with larger beads. And these have very large holes as well. So if you wanted to use one millimeter leather cord, you could. Of course, you'd have to test it first. Sometimes the holes look like they're big enough to accommodate leather cord, and then you go to do it and it doesn't go through very smoothly. But I'm very happy that they gave us bead caps this time. Let me get the last item, which is the Finding Starter Kit. And here's the Finding Starter Kit. As you can see, it's in gold. It's usually either gold or silver. Let me show you what it has. We get some memory wire, and I believe this one's the 0.6 millimeter gauge and 60 diameter. We get some stretch cord, and this is very thick stretch cord, so you could use it on the larger beads. We get some head pins, and these are flat head pins, and these are very thick gauge. We have some lobster clasps, and there are a total of four, as you can see. We have some jump rings. These are six millimeters in size, and these are very thick jump rings. I really like using these. We have some ear wires, and there's a total of six, so that's enough for three pairs of earrings. We have some beading wire, and I believe this is the seven strand beading wire, and I think we get about 36 inches worth. Then we have some crimp beads. These are round crimp beads, they're not tubes. I usually like to squash these, although I have crimped them before, and it's a little bit more challenging, but you can do it. But anyway, guys, if you're a beginner, this is a great kit to have because it has most of the things you need to get started. It doesn't have everything, but it has the basic items to make necklaces, bracelets, and earrings. Let me bring out the whole collection now, and we'll take a look at everything. Well, here's the full collection, the Tree of Life collection. The colors are very summery, very bright and cheery. I like the combination of the peaches and pinks, and I like the little splash of red. And of course, I like it that they gave us gemstones this time. I think my favorite are the frosted crackle beads though. I really love that effect. I also love these beautiful sparkly crystals, and I like that they gave us bead caps. Overall, I think it's a very nice collection. So I want you to come back and check my channel for future tutorials. I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you again. Have a great day and I'll see you next time. Bye.